Hi folks, James from Wooden Classroom here and I'm out in the woods with Dave Watson from Wooden Survival Crafts. Hi. And we're working together again today for our annual wild food foraging and wilderness cookery weekend that we do every autumn. We're out on the Chirk Castle estate in North East Wales and we've been having a great day today looking for all kinds of wild foods, mushrooms, nuts, berries, whatever we can find and then cooking up all kinds of tasty dishes in the afternoon. But in this video, we wanted to take a moment to have a look at a wild edible mushroom that personally I haven't seen much before and it's a new one for me. It's not chicken of the woods, it's hen of the woods. So do you want to talk us through what we've got here, Dave? Yeah, this is a, a, a sort of sprig of uh, what's known as hen of the woods, uh, Latin name Griffola frondosa, uh, which is uh, um, a funny one for me because so many of the Latin names have changed around a little bit in the decades. This one has never changed, but, uh, to the best of my knowledge, certainly not when I was learning uh, the fungi. And um, it's a, a sort of um, bracket type fungus. Uh, you get them in various layers, so you very often don't see one of these. You'll see a cluster of these and um, comes out of the base of oak trees particularly and it's a pleasant fungus it gets called hen of the woods because the sections when you peel them are very similar to breast chicken here, hold that you up can there, see, see that. The, there's threads here coming away very much like breast chicken mm. uh, it doesn't quite taste as good as breast of chicken um, but it's a uh, pleasant enough fungi. Mm. It's not one of the sort of the top flavours but it's certainly not bottom of the list either. No, no. Um, so in terms of habitat, is it dead decaying wood you're looking, looking uh, at? Yes, it yes, yep. yeah indeed, indeed. Yep. Oaks, any other hardwoods you've seen it on particularly? <sighs> no, because I've not seen it very often no, sure. um, or ones that I've been definite uh, that it's uh, the hen of the woods. Mm. Um, so, and what about time of year? It's uh, late September as we film this now. Would you expect to see this any other time of the year or is it real, uh, really an autumn mushroom? Well, it takes a long time between starting and finishing. So it's sort of about now that I'd expect it to be in good condition, but it will carry on growing and it will still be there, you know, for months to come. But you would want it, the younger you get it, um, a lot of bracket fungus typically you would have when they're very young. Um, they've got much more flavour. A lot of the bracket fungus, once they get to any age, they tend to become extra stringy, chewy, and they're just not so good. And of course there's more tannins coming through and the like. Uh, this one is of the quite clues, an old specimen, isn't it? Ah, well, the Compared trick... Compared to the other one we The found. trick <laughs> uh, is to feel the the edges, there's a nice bit of springiness to them here. Yeah. When they start losing it, going off, they become much drier and harder. So this is still, there's got some decent edibility here. Uh, although overall the specimen looks a bit past it, there's definitely sections which are okay. Okay, good, good. So we also found uh, a younger specimen alongside this older one we've been playing with in the uh, video here so far. And that's a little bit different, isn't it? It's a little bit more firm. Yeah, um, the younger specimen, a little bit sort of uh, thicker, softer, um, very distinctive, uh, creamy brown, well, uh, creamy yellow going to uh, into brown. You get these sort of different browns and beiges and the like. Um, they're quite profound, they're perhaps quite distinctive. Mm. And the whole thing, you know, going back to the chicken of the woods thing, it really does look like chicken of the woods, but brown and cream rather than the yellow and orange. There's those bands across the top of the caps as well, as seeing that those darkened edges, but then the rim of it is that light colour, like a highlight, and that yes. does remind me of chicken of the woods, just a different set of colours all round. Yeah. So if you're finding chicken of the woods and it looks all dark, the colours are wrong, it's a good chance you might have this. So check your ID books, have a little look, and you might be on to hen of the woods. <laughs> Gently 
Now, um, we did a taste off as well, because uh, we also found Chicken of the Woods on site today, and we did a taste off between Chicken of the Woods and Hen of the Woods. Chicken versus Hen, what did people think? And uh, how did it go? Generally, um, there was a, a, a favour for the Chicken of the Woods. Yeah. Partly, it did, it did taste a little bit different and nicer. It also looked nicer. Hmm. Uh, which, with anything to do with cooking, is part of the equation. Does it actually look nice? Hmm. <laughs> and, you know, the chicken of the woods, whereas that's got a bit of a tang to it, um, yes. the hen of the woods, um, I think tastes much more like a portobello mushroom that you would buy in the shops. You know, it's got that kind of normal, run-of-the-mill mushroomy flavour, but it's perfectly fine. Yeah. It just doesn't yeah. stand out like to me like a parasol would quite as much. But no. it's a perfectly serv serviceable, edible mushroom, for sure, and a good one to add to your arsenal of uh, mushrooms that you know. Yep, indeed. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks, Dave. That's really interesting. Another mushroom to add to our collection. I'll be certainly looking out for this again next year and in similar kind of environments with a lot of um, older veteran oak trees and other hardwoods and see if we can find it. But thanks for introducing us to that That's one. That's a pleasure. Great. See you again soon, folks. Bye for now.